By 10 million years ago, Earth is morphing into a world most of us would recognize. The Colorado River is carving out the Grand Canyon. Mountain ranges like the Himalayas have arisen. They're so tall, they disrupt weather patterns, setting the stage for a colder planet. The Isthmus of Panama emerges to connect North and South America, cleaving the connection between the Atlantic and the Pacific, disrupting ocean currents and tipping the world even more towards an ice age. With the planet getting colder, our primate ancestors hang on in the tropics, but a new creature is coming in that threatens to destroy them. Seven million years ago, our primate ancestors lived safely in the trees, but their neighborhood is about to be invaded. This newcomer will have as profound an effect on human history as any other living thing on Earth. It seems almost impossible to believe, but one of the most important things that will lead to the emergence of us is the emergence of grass. The grasslands appear almost simultaneously around the world. We get the African savannas. We get the Eurasian steppe lands. We get the North American prairies. We get the great grasslands of Argentina. Appearing simultaneously around the world. In Eastern Africa, grasslands invade the traditional woodland habitat of our ape ancestors. With fewer trees and greater gaps between them, our ancestors have to adapt. Apes would notice that there's more and more apes in the same tree and less and less food, increasing incentives for apes to go from one patch of food to a different one separated by grasslands. Now, one way to do it is to run like hell. <laughs> the other way to do it is to extend one's food sources into the grasslands and seek out the foods that are available there. And so, some apes make the move down into this stark new habitat. It's a landscape better suited to primates that can walk on two legs. Keeping their heads up above the tall grasses to watch for predators. Standing on two feet is a revolutionary advance. 